So we just turned this bra into a face mask like this. And I'm pretty sure this is how they actually make hand sanitizer because look at how it's turning out. Look at this. All right, let's try this out. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's YouTube video. Okay, we probably shouldn't do that. Here, let's sanitize our hands. This guy got you. But we've been seeing a lot of survival life hacks. And today we wanted to try some out for you guys and share them with you. So it's no secret that hand sanitizer is a very valuable and scarce item these days. We went to like 10 different targets and 10 different Walmarts and they're sold out everywhere. But with this hack, we're gonna be showing you guys how you can make your own hand sanitizer. Okay, so you alcohol 99%. And you need the after sun gel aloe vera. Yes, and then you pour it in a bowl with the alcohol and you get a spoon, stir it around. And I guess you keep stirring until it becomes and more of a solid, more of a solid. No, more of like a slime. We're gonna try it out. Yeah, let's try it out. All right, so we have our aloe vera gel right there and we have our 99% rub and alcohol along with our bowl and a spoon. <laughs> and now let's try this out. Okay, so first step, you just squeeze all of the aloe vera gel into the bowl. Ooh. Ooh. So that's pretty much all of it. Step two, pour it all in. That's enough. That's enough. And then we start around. Oh, it's already getting really slimy. So we poured the entire bottle in there already. And I'm pretty sure this is how they actually make hand sanitizer because look at how it's turning out. Look at this. All right, let's try this out. Oh my gosh, I think I got a little too much, but no, you can never use too much hand sanitizer. We're going to be pouring the bowl inside of the bottle right here. Yeah, a funnel like this, huh? Um, yeah, there yes we go. Look at that. Sir. Look at that. This is a little bit messy, but you know what they say, right? You have to get a little messy before you can get clean. So here we go. I'm pretty Alan. sure I have never heard that in my life. Before. Well, you heard that from me. <laughs> that's that's Alex Stokes, 2020. <laughs> oh, look that, at that. This that. is yeah. Look at that. This is actual hand sanitizer. Look at that. No, you can. It never smells use just like hand sanitizer too. Also, we're gonna be doing a hand sanitizer giveaway. Basically, all you have to do to enter is subscribe, turn on our post notifications, and comment, comment down below "done" when you're done. And uh, we're gonna be uh, <laughs> shipping off these uh, super rare items to you guys. This is what half a million dollars right here. And we're gonna autograph it too. Oh yeah, the back is. <laughs> Okay, so for this next hack, it's for people who don't like to read. And if you're one of those people who don't like to read or just don't have enough time, then we have a very simple solution for you guys. And that solution is Audible. So we'd like to take a quick moment to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. And if you don't know what Audible is, it's an unmapped selection of audiobooks, which includes their own original shows, comedies, from the best-selling authors. So on Audible, I've been listening to The Great Gatsby. And it's just really good for me since I'm always driving. I now finally have time to listen to my favorite books, thanks to Audible. You can also get credit for one free audiobook and two free Audible originals. And Audible is actually also available offline. Now, if you want to check out Audible, go to www.audible.com slash Stokes Twins for a free trial. If you don't feel like visiting the website, you can text Stokes Twins to 500 500. Okay, so since masks are also sold out, this is a life hack right here that shows you how to make your own face mask. So you just need a paper towel, rubber band, and a stapler. And oh my gosh, that's like genius, right? That's, that's so smart. Let's try it out. Okay, so here's how to face mask are supposed to turn out like. And we're gonna be showing you guys right now how to make one. So we have the paper towels right here and you wanna grab two sheets and then you wanna fold them like this. So once on this side and then once on the other side, like so. And then you just repeat this and boom, there we go. Okay, so after you get it to look like this, you wanna grab a rubber band right here. You wanna put the rubber band on this side right here, like that, and then you wanna fold it. Fold it. And then you staple over it, like so. And then you wanna repeat the same step on the other side. There we go. And now, the moment of truth. Okay, there we go. Now, let's, now let's put it on. Oh my gosh, this works perfectly. I made mine a little bit too small, but his seems to be perfect size. This is like a genius hack. Like it took us like, what, like 30 seconds to do this? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know how dirty that is? Well, I need to get to the first floor. Well, you know how to do it without getting your hands dirty? If I knew, I'd be doing that. Well, you know what? Let me show you this video right here. Oh, okay. And then you disinfect it afterwards. <laughs> Because a fire disinfects it. That's pretty smart. Yeah, that's a pretty smart way. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like you just need a lighter, a hanger, and tape it up. And basically, you use the hanger to touch whatever you need without getting your hands dirty. And you burn it afterwards to kill off the germs. Well, lucky for you guys, we have an even better way of doing it. With this. It's a barbecue lighter. Basically, it's everything that video showed except better. Okay, so let's say I wanted to open an elevator. Boom. All right. Now, in order to disinfect it, all I have to do is this. And wow, it's disinfected. disinfected. Just like that. Disinfected. All right. Disinfected. 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 One more thing that is very hard to get your hands on is toilet paper. And we came up with our own hack to show you guys how to grow your own toilet paper. 
So right here is a toilet tree. And toilet, toilet tree, get it? Yeah. This is a toilet tree. And basically all you need in order to grow your own toilet tree is an empty toilet paper roll, some toothpicks, a cup, and some water. Now we're just gonna be watering the tree. And you wait for the toilet paper to grow out. You know, results may vary, but uh, we'll come back in a little bit and show you guys okay, the wait, results. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and uh, let's, uh, oh, we got a pretty nice sized toilet paper right here. Not um, as much as we hoped. But maybe it's the size of the cup. I feel like the cup was a little bigger. Yeah, if you use a bigger cup, I feel like the roll is just gonna be a lot bigger. All right, so another quick life hack. While you're washing your hands, sing happy birthday to yourself in your head. And by the time you're done singing it, it should be the perfect amount of time it takes to kill all the germs. And I just realized that I was just washing my hands and singing happy birthday to myself and realized that any birthday spent without you isn't happy. I hope you're well. No need to respond. Dang, Alan, you need someone to talk to? <laughs> <laughs> that was deep. So your phone is probably the dirtiest thing that you come in contact with on a daily basis. And with this hack, we're gonna be showing you guys how to properly disinfect your phone. Okay, so it looks like you need an empty spray bottle and you need some more rubbing alcohol. And you just pour the rubbing alcohol in the spray bottle and it looks like you need a cloth, but I think a paper towel would work too. But yeah, yeah, there it's you go. Easy. All right, let's make one. All right, so we have our empty spray bottle right here and then we have a rubbing alcohol right here. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna fill it up with half rubbing alcohol. Okay, and then you wanna fill the rest of it up with some water. Water, right, and you screw it back on. You want to shake it up. Now what you want to do is you want to take your phone, just want to get it in there, grab a paper towel, and you want to wipe it all down. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Bill, look at that wallpaper. Look at that. There we go. It's clean now. And wow, look at that. Brand new phone. New no phone. germs whatsoever. All right, guys. So another item that might be really hard to find in stores is disinfecting wipes. And we're going to be showing you guys exactly how you can make your own disinfecting, disinfecting wipes. wipes. So step one, you need disinfecting spray and paper towels and then a tiny Ziploc bag to store them afterwards. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this disinfecting spray and spray them on a paper towels right here on this side. And you want to flip it around, get it nice and wet and soaked and then put them on top of each other spray it one last time yeah one last time there we go now the purpose of the ziploc bag is to store them for future use so we don't need them right now but let's say you were to go out to a restaurant or anywhere like that like a you public place you don't want to walk in with this yeah it's you a lot better to walk, walk in with a exactly. plastic bag yeah next time you want to clean something you just get this out wipe it down and like for example this table looks really clean right and oh my gosh look how dirty that is now which is why i think this is a really good life hack because look Look at that, like that's just so dirty. Like, and this so. is like our home table. Like, imagine how dirty like maybe your shopping cart is if you were to go out to go shop. Like, All right, so this life hack was just way too funny not to show you guys. But basically, if you don't have a face mask while you have long hair, you can actually make your own face mask with your hair. Like, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but we'll just have to show you guys a video so you understand. So if you're, if you're cold, so you just straighten your hair down, tie it up in the front like that. Like a front ponytail. And you tie it back together, and boom, there you go, a face mask. Walk around looking like a werewolf. <laughs> Obviously, we're not gonna do that, but like I said, it was just way too funny not to show you guys. But feel free to try it if you guys want. I feel like it's pretty effective, you know, as long as you know your hair is not dirty. All right, so I know we showed you guys how to make a face mask earlier, but if you guys want a higher quality face mask that's also reusable, and if you're willing to go the next step, then this life hack is, is for you. So it looks like you need a bra, you cut off the sides, and then you glue on one of the straps to the other end of the strap. Take the strap from the other bra, and you glue that on as well, and then there you go. You have a really high quality face mask. All right, let's try it. All right, so we have these two bras right here, and funny story. So earlier, um, Selena Gomez and Ariana Grande were um, over, and we went to the hot tub, and surprising enough, they were wearing matching uh, bras, and they left these behind. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they did it on purpose, because like, don't girls, just, just be honest with us, don't girls sometimes leave stuff behind on purpose, so that way they can shoot you a text or give you a phone call and say like, oh, I left this behind, can I, I'm gonna have to come back and get it, uh, looks like we're gonna have to hang out again, like, I feel like they did that on purpose so they could like hang out with us again, right? Exactly. Either okay. that or we just went to the store and bought these and just Which made is <laughs> probably what we exactly did not do. Okay, but on a real note, for this life hack, you're gonna need a bra, a pair of scissors, some glue, so you start with the middle, cut it directly down the center. Whoa, look at that. Cut this in half as well. Here we go. There we go. So now what you want to do is you want to take this end, attach it to this side of the string. And you want to see how this fits your face first. Okay, so you want to cut this off. And now you glue this side in like this. There we go. You don't want to put too much glue on that side. Let it sit for a little bit. Okay, now and put wait, it on. I don't think Moment of truth. 
Oh my, oh my god. god! Look at this! This is a This looks fit. cool! I love this. This goes with any outfit too. Dude, I think I like the way I look in this. If you don't have a face mask and you have like some bras that you're not using, then you can make a face mask just like this. Also, we have one final life hack for you guys. If you're bored, and I know a lot of you guys are, click right here to watch some really good YouTube videos. And right here as well. And right here to subscribe to a really good YouTube channel. Yes. And be sure to turn on our post notifications. Be sure to give this video a like if you would try any of these hacks or you found any of these hacks useful. And comment down below your favorite hack. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next time.